Hi, I'm John Abdo, and I want to clarify a term that I often use, and oftentimes it's misinterpreted or misunderstood, and it's the word anabolic, but I also want to share it with its counterpart called catabolic. Uh, anabolic is obviously related to a lot of the drugs that athletes are known to take and bodybuilders and strength athletes called anabolic steroids. That is a synthetic form of an anabolic substance that people put into their body, but anabolism or the anabolic metabolism that we all possess to varying degrees healthy people to higher degrees and to than unhealthy people it's something we really need and we really want uh, and I would just want to explain that here in this seminar the first process in any type of improvement with the human body is a catabolic phase the old saying no pain no gain really kind of like stemmed from this type of methodology or this type of mentality or philosophy or theories of application because when you break your body down microscopically speaking when you exercise you are tearing apart micro elements inside muscle tissue it's a good thing it's a real good thing because your body's own natural defense mechanism to being torn down and there's a seminar that I did on natural defense mechanisms and you should uh, watch that one as well allows your body to rebuild itself after being torn down it's like when you get a cut the cut heals when you get a cold you get over your cold same thing when your body gets torn down it rebuilds and the body actually feeds off that because if you're here and you exercise, you get tired and fatigued, you break yourself down, when your body's anabolic metabolism kicks in, it brings it up a little bit higher, and then you tear it down, and a little bit higher, and then a little bit higher. And the end of the week, end of the month, certainly by the end of the year, you're Superman or Superwoman. It's just unbelievable how that tear down buildup cycle or the catabolic anabolic cycle is really conducive to your overall strength gains, your health improvement, and just your overall health and, and, and productivity in life. The catabolic cycle, again, is the, is the tearing down cycle. And a lot of times we experience this when we're sick, we experience it when we're injured. So people who don't exercise are experiencing a catabolic state. Just normal everyday life. Just even sedentary people have a level of catabolism, and catabolism is actually tear down. Now it sounds like cannibalism, right? <laughs> but actually that's what's happening. Your body is actually tearing itself down or eating itself in some way. It's actually feeding off the tissue. But when you exercise properly, recover properly, which includes proper thinking, so you send in the right mental signals throughout all the cells, and obviously eating correctly combined with proper rest, now all of a sudden your body goes from a, oh, I'm torn down, to a, I've just built up. And you go through that cycle over and over and over again. That's why people who first start an exercise program, they get sore, they go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna quit. They quit right away because their pain-killing hormones, which is another defense mechanism that we possess, are very low, so they're, they're experiencing so much pain. Great athletes and great fitness people love great workouts. They love the way it feels because it doesn't hurt anymore. They know that that process of let's say what was once pain is going to equal the gain. So no pain, no gain. So it's like, hey, I'm going to work out. I'm going to have a stimulating workout. Internally, you're doing catabolic damage to your body. And I don't want to call it a bad damage. This is a good damage because you want to get your body into the catabolic anabolic cycle to where it's tearing down catabolically speaking, with exercise, and as a result of that, now your body's defense mechanism, your anabolic metabolism, kicks in to produce more hormones, to produce more endorphins, to produce more um, uh, ability to digest better food. So now you're digesting more nutrients from the foods that you're eating because your digestive system is more efficient, and as a result, you're in much better shape. So don't be scared of the word anabolic. Understand it in the context of the programs that you are performing here, and as as a result of that, you will definitely learn more about your body and how it's responding to fitness. I'm John Abdo. We'll talk again soon.